Did you know that according to C-SPAN ratings, U.S. citizens believe that James Buchanan is the worst president of the United States, although many historians believe that Lincoln's predecessor and the 15th president of the United States, Buchanan simply led the country through a difficult time. Therefore, I examined the details of his policy decisions to learn why his period in office was a real challenge to the nation and how his decisions affected the future of the United States. James Buchanan served as President of the United States from 1857 to 1861. He did become President during a critical period in the nation's history when America faced serious problems such as the North-South Divide, the issue of slavery, and the economic crisis. In reality, however, Buchanan simply failed to lead the country effectively during this difficult period and to take the necessary steps to solve the problems which led to serious consequences. One of the most notable and damaging aspects of Buchanan's presidency was his attitude toward slavery. He advocated a policy of expanding slavery in the Western territories. Buchanan supported the Compromise of 1860, which allowed the new states to decide the question of slavery on their own. Thus, not only did he support the expansion of the institution of slavery, but he also ignored the fundamental principles of liberty and equality on which the United States was founded. Moreover, Buchanan actively interfered with slaveholding interests and attempted to influence the court's decision in Dred Scott v. Sanford. In that decision, the Supreme Court denied slave Dred Scott the right to citizenship and also recognized that Congress could not prohibit slavery in the territories. Buchanan tried to influence the justices to rule in favor of slave owners. His interference in the judicial system was a prime example of a violation of judicial independence and fairness. It is also worth noting that Buchanan was passive on the issue of women's equality. At a time when the women's rights movement was gaining momentum, Buchanan was not active in supporting it. He took no action to protect and promote women's rights, leaving the issue unaddressed. Not only legal, but also economic problems have tested the 15th President of the United States. During his presidency, Buchanan faced a crisis known as the Zero Years Crisis. The state of South Carolina announced a secession from the Union and other southern states followed suit. This led to a deep division and foreshadowed a looming civil war. Buchanan, however, took no effective action to prevent the division of the country. His inaction and lack of decisive action only served to fuel the conflict and reinforce the position of division. In addition, Buchanan failed to deal with the challenges of the economic crisis of the Panic of 1857. Instead of taking effective measures to stimulate the economy and mitigate the effects of the crisis, Buchanan remained inactive and allowed the situation to worsen. This led to massive bankruptcies, increased unemployment, and a general economic downturn. The consequences of Buchanan's failed presidency had a profound effect on the future of the United States. His failure to overcome the problems of slavery and prevent the Civil War resulted in America being plunged into the bloodshed and destruction of the Civil War. This conflict caused enormous loss of life and destruction, and its effects continued to be felt for years after the war was over. Buchanan failed to prevent this catastrophe and keep the country united. Moreover, his failure to act to support the women's rights movement had a negative impact on the struggle for gender equality. At a time when the movement was gaining momentum and growing rapidly, Buchanan was not active in supporting it. He did not take the necessary steps to promote women's rights, leaving the issue unaddressed. The impact of Buchanan's failed presidency was also felt in the field of foreign policy. For example, his response to the crisis in Kansas known as the Kansas War, not only failed to resolve the conflict, but only inflamed it. Buchanan failed to reconcile the various parties and find a peaceful solution. 
leading to further conflict and tension. Buchanan also left a negative legacy on the economy. His inaction during the Panic of 1857 and his failure to take effective measures to restore the economy only exacerbated the crisis and hit ordinary citizens who faced unemployment and bankruptcy. Although many historians rely on Buchanan's age, his health, and the country's bad times, this can hardly be an excuse, because Buchanan's successor, Lincoln, took over the United States in an even worse state. And in fact, the 16th president was able to solve all the accumulated problems during his presidency. And the best part is that Abraham Lincoln is ranked number one for his services in the same C-SPAN ranking. To learn more about Abraham Lincoln, you can watch a video about him on my channel. James Buchanan remains one of the most unsuccessful and negative presidents in the history of the United States for a reason. His presidency has been marked by bad decisions, passivity, and an unwillingness to confront serious challenges and problems. Buchanan not only supported the expansion of slavery, but also interfered with a judicial process and failed to effectively address domestic and foreign crises, leading to the Civil War and serious consequences for the United States. His failure to promote equal rights for women and his failure to manage the economic crisis also had a negative impact on the future of the country. James Buchanan remains an example of how poor decisions and failure to govern effectively can do great damage to even the most powerful nation. That's all for today. Write in the comments who you think is the worst and best president of the United States, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like this video. See you soon, friends.